Hello everybody, welcome to Ability Enhancement course of Mastering Office. So in this video, I am going to explain you the mail merge concept in MS Word. How to do the mail merge, how to send uh, the letters to different participant in a bulk. Let us see the syllabus first, then we will see how to do this in MS Word. So here is the syllabus. So in the my previous video, where you can, uh, in the description you can get the link for that. Previous video I have shown uh, on, uh, how to format the text, how to add header, how to add footer, how to add uh, page border, everything I have shown. Now uh, in this video we will see about mail merge, how to do the mail merge. Then uh, in the next video I will show you how to do the macros. Okay. This is the question uh, 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 bank. This also you will find in the description. The, the question says that uh, describe the steps involved in setting up the mail merge in Microsoft Word including how to create a data source. So here you have to show the steps how to create the mail merge and how to create the data source like uh, Excel sheet or Outlook from the Outlook how to create how to get the data that you have to show it. Now why do we need mail merge? Like if you want to send the CA marks of my class, like uh, assume that in my class uh, 50 students are there, uh, I want to send the letter to their parent, uh, I can send it very easily by using this uh, mail merge option. I can send email or I can uh, you know generate the multiple uh, 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 letters, I can take print out and you can uh, send it to them. So let us see how to do this in MS Word. Yeah, if you want to perform a mail merge in MS Word, first you should have uh, uh, one sample uh, template, one sample letter you can say uh, with you. So let me create one sample letter first. For example, if you want to send the IA marks to the parents, I'll create one letter. Two, I will, I will leave some space. This is the address and I'll ask the subject here. Okay, uh, here I have uh, drafted a simple letter, so you can write uh, a good letter. So now let me save this, I will save it in the same folder, uh, the folder which I have created on the desktop called AC class. I will save it as uh, uh, mail merge letters, something like that I will save. Okay, now our our letter our template is ready so i have added one table here maximum marks everything now i have to add uh, so this i should get from the database now we will see the question now say here describe the steps involved in setting up the mail merge in microsoft word including how to create a data source now first we have drafted our template now we have to go to the data source we have to create the data source for the data source I will go to the excel so in this excel like you should have uh, the uh, parent uh, address and the student marks everything you should have in your excel file I will select uh, the serial number uh, USN of the student uh, say name subject one marks and then father name then the address okay, address one address two address three like address I'll divide into three columns Okay, uh, student I have created the database like what and all we require for our letter I have drafted here. Okay, so here the student USN name and the five subject marks the student was obtained in the CIE student father name and address one address two address three that means uh, for the address I have divided into three columns. Okay, so see you, you can write in one single line but you have to adjust there in the mail merge. So instead of that uh, you for your address you divide it into three uh, uh, columns so that easily we can uh, uh, add into our uh, uh, mail merge. Now what I will do is I will save this in the same folder 
which is the folder which I have created in the desktop I will save it as uh, address I will click on save now I will go back to my word file so here uh, the letter is ready and the database is ready now I have to mail merge I have to start the mail merge for that what I have to do is you have to select the mailing option in the mailing option you have to go to the mail merge so start mail merge so here you can see step by step mail merge you can select a, a letter whatever you want here but I'll, I'll show you people uh, how to do this uh, by using the step by step mail merge wizard once you click on this you will get one window uh, here so here we are generating the letters let it be I'll select this uh, letter and uh, you click on uh, start document uh, here it is showing uh, three options for me use the current document start from the template or start from the existing document so I will use the current document this one I'll select the first one I'll click on the uh, uh, select uh, uh, recipient I'll click on this now use an existing or uh, select from the outlook or type a new list we will use the existing because we have already created the database i will i will use uh, that one only i'll click on browse and you have to go to the folder where you have saved your excel file i'll go to the uh, desktop in this i have a folder called ac class i'll select that i'll click on uh, uh, the folder the uh, excel file which i have created that is address i'll click on open so how many sheets are there only one sheet is there if you have multiple sheet you can select which sheet you want i have only one sheet now i'll select this now again it will give you like for example assume that there are 50 student in that 50 student you don't want to send letters to all the 50 student you can select here for example you don't want a letter uh, send the letter to this martin you can you can uh, uncheck this then you can able to generate only nine letters if you want you can uh, check it and you can sort it you can filter it you can uh, you know find out the duplicate uh, values also here itself <coughs> if you don't want to change anything let it be just click ok now once you click on ok so here you can see select here uh, see here also you can you can edit it you can select it different uh, uh, the uh, database or you can edit uh, here once after clicking ok also you can uh, edit it now click on uh, write your letter once you click on write, uh, write your letter it will uh, uh, you know you will get something like this now take the cursor for example place the cursor where you want to play, uh, put the address now i want address here i want address here so i will go to the more items in the more item you will see all the fields which is there in your excel uh, sheet now i want uh, father name first i will select this i'll click on insert now father name we got it after that i'll i'll, I'll uh, hit insert I'll just uh, uh, close this I'll hit insert then again I'll select the more item then I'll select uh, address 1 I'll press uh, enter I'll close this so I'll hit enter address 2 I'll select this time then address uh, 3 I'll select now you understood right why we have taken uh, three fields three addresses like if you write only one address and one, one single line will come like this so I don't want that so I have uh, uh, broken down my uh, address into three uh, parts now after that you can adjust it you can you can uh, you know use the backspace and you can adjust it or if you don't want any space also you can select it go to home and you can uh, remove the space between that you can give one or uh, remove the line after uh, this one you can uh, do that as well now subject is correct uh, if you want you can change the color of font and color of it okay uh, dear parents kindly find the ca marks of your ward here uh, uh, you want to add the usn of the student and the name of the student select this click usn and click on insert now after that leave one space uh, again select more item take the name now we got usn and name now here we want the marks obtained by the student now select here click on add more items now select subject one here you should be very careful because you have to map properly because this is the subject one means subject one marks only you have to map so subject two i'll select then here i will go to a more again select subject three more subject four subject 5 done yeah so we finish so you save it once again now after that 
preview your letter you can preview the letter here once you click on this now you can see this uh, our uh, letter is ready i mean you can check all the letters here you can preview the letter see here you can say this is the fifth letter fourth letter three letter one letter and the first letter first letter you can see about rahul now we'll go to database and we'll check whether we are getting correct or not rahul is the name of the student and uh, his father name is jogin uh, jogi sharma now you can see here jogi sharma and the name of the student is uh, rahul we will cross verify the marks 30 32 25 48 38 30 32 25 48 38 yes we are getting address is 162 second cross shabri nagar bangalore 64 162 Shabri Nagar Bangalore 64. We will see the second letter whether we are getting properly or not. I'll just uh, you know um, uh, I'll preview this second letter. Now this is the second letter. Uh, name of the student is uh, Virat and father name is Manat and the address is uh, 425 Fifth Cross. You can see here Virat Manat 425 uh, Fifth Cross. The address also we are getting and marks 40 40 40 40. you can see here 40 40 40 40 so like this uh, you can generate the bulk letter very easily by using a mail merge option which is there in ms word now after that you can click on uh, complete the uh, merge now you can take print out if you want or if you want you can you can edit the individual letter also if you, if you click on individual letters you will get all the letters here now you can see here it will show all the letter in this letter you want to change anything like um, uh, you want to make it bold or you want to edit some marks of the student or uh, that also you can uh, do it after that you can uh, save this you can save it or uh, yeah i will save this as a uh, all letters all the letters or you can take the print out also okay. student this is how we can generate the multiple letters so thank you i hope you understood this